If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, a car braked with constant deceleration of 16 feet per second squared, producing skid marks measuring 200 feet before coming to a stop. How fast was the car traveling when the brakes were first applied? Smash that like button and let's get started. So we're given that our acceleration is constantly negative 16. And we know that our car eventually stops. So we'll let capital T be the time when our car comes to a complete stop. What's it mean to be stopped? Well, it means that our velocity at this time is equal to zero. And we were given that our car stops 200 feet away from when we applied the brakes. So S of capital T is 200, and we'll say that we start at position zero. Our goal is to find our initial velocity. So we want to find V of zero. So we know our velocity is the antiderivative of the acceleration. So that's negative 16t plus some constant. Our question really boils down to finding that constant. We know that V of capital T is negative 16t plus c, and it's also equal to zero, so we could get c is equal to 16t. So our velocity is negative 16t plus 16 capital T. I know there's a lot of t's here, but hopefully they look different in the drawing. We take the antiderivative to get our position function, which is negative 8t squared plus 16 capital T times the variable t plus d, and we find that d equals 0 by plugging in um, times 0. s of capital T, which is negative 8t squared plus 16t squared, is equal to 200, and we could use this to solve for capital T and we get t is equal to 5, which tells us that c, which is what we are looking for, our initial velocity, is equal to 80. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.